And joining me this hour to discuss how Nigeria has fared in the last six months with the coronavirus is public health consultant Dr. Unsi Abasi Ekanem. Good to have you join us, Dr. Ekanem. Now, when you look at how, you know, the figures that we have now, um, over 53,000 confirmed cases, over 40,000 recoveries, and then about 1,010 people have died from this virus in the country. Um, what does this say about how we have fared in the last six months? I would say that the last six months has been quite challenging, quite interesting. Uh, we have uh, come from uh, absolutely nowhere in terms of our healthcare system to a point where we can comfortably handle this pandemic. If you look at the numbers, you'll see that our mortality rate is still very, very good. And our rate of recovery, 40,281, 40, uh, with a case of uh, 53,021. That's a good one. I would say that the last six months has given us the opportunity of really upscaling our healthcare system. Look at the number of laboratories. I mean, when we started, we had barely up to 10 laboratories that could uh, test for, uh, you know, to, that could carry out PCR testing. Right now, we have over 64 of those laboratories spread across Nigeria. So we have achieved a lot, I must say, in that direction. Uh, the only challenge, we, the, some of the challenges which I feel that we have experienced, first of all, was our healthcare system in, in terms of personnel was a bit poor when we started. And of course, our infrastructure was a bit poor. And, and which is where data, I want to, just allow me, button, which is where I want to go to, because you said that the pandemic has given us an opportunity to upscale our healthcare system. But now we are opening yes. international um, flights, we're resuming international flights on August 29th. Um, are we not going to see a lot of people leave the country for medical tourism? Are we at that place now where our healthcare system can handle some of these challenges that we've always talked about? Well, it's about uh, human behavior. Uh, right now, Nigerians still feel that the healthcare system is not strong enough to cater for their needs, especially those at the upper edge now. Uh, but I feel, I'm confident to say that uh, the Nigerian healthcare system right now is able to handle some of these cases. For example, we've seen about 40,000 40, people recover from, from COVID-19. That is about the, one of the highest recovery rates across the world. So I think uh, Nigerians should uh, begin to have that confidence in our system. We have more, um, uh, we have built the capacity from primary health care up to the tertiary health care. And you can see that we are working towards ensuring that even when the borders are opening, uh, surveillance, uh, disease surveillance at the port of entry is quite, quite good. But, you know, it's a normal Nigerian uh, behavior. We think that what is outside is superior to what we have here. So no matter what you put in here, people will still want to travel out because they already have that belief that the healthcare system outside this country is better. Fine, we understand. But what we are saying is that we have gone a long way. Where we were before the pandemic is not where we are right now. We have an, an improved capacity and we can be able to handle just about uh, any disease on earth right now. All right, Dr. Unsia Basi Kane, we'll continue to see how things play, play out with this outbreak. Thanks for talking to us. You're welcome.